hi guys welcome to another tutorial in this one we're gonna see how we can read and write to an amazon kinesis using apache and i5 for those who don't know what amazon kinesis is well amazon kinesis it's a serverless streaming data service that makes it easy to capture process and store data stream at any scale it's a serverless product so you don't have to manage it basically we're gonna see how we can use the knife out of the box processors to write data to kinesis and read data from kinesis before you restart the story you need to download the template from the repo the link is going to be in the description everything is going to be here we're going to go through some steps we're going to see how we can create a kinesis stream how to delete it afterwards when we finish and we're also going to create kinesis firehose we're going to create s3 bucket we're going to create an amazon role we're going to create a policy we're going to attach the policy role we're going to create a delivery stream and then we have a script to delete everything that we did in this template so let's jump into it <laughs> First thing you want to do, you want to import the template on your canvas. Drag the template button and choose the Kinesis template. Here, you're going to get some invalid components. Well, this has to do with the controllers. So you want to do click right, enable all service, controller services. You refresh and we can see that they're all enabled. Let's jump into it. Before we, we're going to go over the flows, we're going to create the resources in Amazon. So open a terminal. And in the same time, logging in to your Amazon account. If you have, if you don't have an Amazon account, make sure you create one. We're not gonna go over that in this story. There's like a gazillion YouTube tutorial online that you guys can follow. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create our first data stream. So if you go into the repo, you're just gonna copy um, this first line. You can change the name of your uh, stream name, but be mindful that these names are used in the policy in our asset folder. So if you change any of those, you have to edit policies as well. So first thing, we're going to paste it in our command line. And also you have to have your Amazon client configured. Again, we're not going to go over that. So we can see that no error came out. If we go back to our Amazon interface here and we're going to refresh this page, we should get a new stream created. So there you go. A new stream was created. So this particular stream has data retention of one day and has one shard provision to it. Basically, the one shard has a write capacity of maximum one megabyte per second and a thousand record per second. The read capacity, it's a two megabyte per second max. I'm going to show you in NiFi how we set our configuration to adapt this next let's jump into nifi let's go over the configuration so basically i'm going to explain what we're going to do we're going to generate some data so using generate flow file we're going to generate some random user id uh, a value between 1 and 10 and a random string following that we're going to jump in the put kinesis stream processor so this particular processor accepts the kinesis stream name um the kinesis stream partition key if empty or this parameter does not exist, uh, it will associate a random value, which is going to be this case, the message batch size. So we're going to write in batches of 500. You remember the configuration here was uh, 1000 records per second. We're going to write in batches of 500. Max buffer size is going to be one meg. If the 500 messages go above one meg, they're going to be truncated to one meg. The region of our stream is going to be in Asia Pacific Sydney. So make sure you change this to adapt to your region and the credential provider service. So the credential provider service is a controller service that it's already set. What you want to do, you want to follow this link and click on the configuration. You're going to have the access key and the secret key that you will have to set here. So basically, I've already set it, but when you're going to import it, those values are not passed over. So you're going to have to do it on your own. Let's enable back the controller service. And then we have a log attribute basically to capture all the failure. So first, let's generate some data. So I'm going to start this one and get about 10,000 records and then stop it let's start our put kinesis stream processor and see what's happened we can basically see that he's writing to kinesis stream and one thing i forgot to mention the settings of this processor are to run every one second and why did i put it every one second basically i don't want to overflow the write capacity otherwise records will fail to insert so be mindful when you set up this now going back to our flow we can see that all the records have been inserted and there were 20 tasks required for that because we had 10,000 rows or 10,000 messages. Now let's consume the Kinesis stream. So we have another processor. Let's stop this one. We have another processor called consume Kinesis stream. Uh, let's go over the options here. So basically it requires the Kinesis stream name, the application name, 
The application name is used by Kinesis to check where this particular consumer sits uh, in terms of how many records he consume and what's the strategy he consume. We're not going to use a record reader and writer. We're going to choose to have it in Asia Pacific region. That's where our stream is. We're not going to take advantage of the endpoint override URL or the Dynamo override. And the initial stream position, this is very important. So the initial stream position um, has to do with, for example, latest. Latest, it, it will start reading just from the most recent record in the shard. So basically, if we start this record right now, it will return nothing. It will return everything that will come after we start this particular processor. So we don't want that. We want to get all the historical data. For that, we're going to use Stream Horizon. Start reading from the last untrimmed record in the shard, which is the oldest data record in the shard. All right, so let's put it to Stream Horizon. We're not going to use take advantage of the timestamp format because we're not choosing the a timestamp. For this one, if you choose timestamp, you have to provide it with a valid timestamp in this format. So we're going to go move it back to Trim Horizon. The failover timeout is going to be 30 second, grace of first shutdown 20 second, checkpoint interval 3 seconds, retry count, then retry, wait 1 second. And we choose not to send metrics to CloudWatch. Communication timeout is going to be 30 second and the same Amazon credential provider as we used uh, with the put Kinesis. I have this scheduled to run 10 seconds. Let's put it to one second and let's see what happens. All right, so we can see that we got all the records back in. One thing that I want to do, I want to extend this particular queue. And let's make it hold 20,000. We want to be able to see how the data flows through. Let's generate some data here. Before I start the Kinesis stream, what we want to do, we want to change this consume Kinesis stream, its property to not trim horizon to the latest. So basically we're just going to read all the records that are, read, are written now moving forward. So let's Start this Kinesis stream and let's start adding new records to the stream. So we can see that he's catching up at the moment. If we were to increase this configuration to give it more records for the queue, uh, let's move it to 200,000. Start again what's in the, um, in the UI. So we can see that it keeps arriving. If I would stop this put Kinesis stream, next thing what we're going to do because we saw how we can put data into Kinesis using put Kinesis stream up uh, processor. And we saw how we can consume Kinesis stream data. Next, let's talk about the Kinesis Firehose. What is the Kinesis Firehose and how is it different from the data stream? The data stream, it's a low latency streaming service. On the other hand, Kinesis Firehose aims to serve as a data transfer service. The primary purpose of Kinesis Firehose focuses on loading streaming data to Amazon S3, Splunk, Elasticsearch, or Redshift. So before we're going to go and start this particular processor and we're going to look over its configuration, let's go back to our command line and create the Amazon Firehose resources. So let's do it line by line. First, we're going to capture the Amazon account that we're running it because this is going to be used when we're going to create the policy in the room. Next, we're going to create a bucket. So in my case, my bucket is going to be called Demo Inside Byte. Next, let's create a role. Make sure you navigate to where you have cloned the repository or where you copy those scripts. Right, so the role was created. We can see it here. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to create a policy. Right, so let's go ahead and create the policy. After we create a policy, we're going to attach policy to the created role. So basically, we're going to use Amazon IAM attach policy and we're going to create our delivery stream. So let's enter. And great, our delivery got created. If we're going to go back to our Amazon uh, UI, we're going to go back to Kinesis, click on the menu, deliver streams, and there you go. We do have a delivery stream created. So let's go back to NiFi. Now, add all the data there so we can have a bigger chunk of data. Now that we have all the resources created and all the data has flown in the queue before we put it into the Kinesis Firehouse, let's go and review the Kinesis Firehouse configuration. So. The source of the data will be a direct put. That's how we configured the Kinesis Firehouse. He's going to write it to Amazon S3, and that's the destination. We're not going to do any transformation, and the partitioning is disabled. The buffer hints are set to 5 or 300 seconds. Let's go ahead and edit this manually. Going down, let's change this to 1 meg. That's the minimum possible value that you can 
and set this to 60 seconds. Basically, whenever the buffer is going to be one meg, he's going to write it. Whenever it reaches 60 seconds, he's going to write it. We're not going to encrypt it, nor we're going to compress the data. We're going to leave it as disabled. Let's save it. Going back to our patch 9.5, we see we have about 2.33 megs. Go into this put Kinesis Firehouse and go over the properties. The delivery name it has to be the same as the one we have in the script. You remember that we put in the when we created the delivery name, my delivery stream. If you change it, make sure you change it in the 9.5 flow as well. The batch size for this one is going to be 500 megs and the max a message buffer size, we're going to have it at one meg. The region is going to be um, Asia Pacific and the credential, the one that we showed before. Let's apply and let's write this to uh, Kinesis. Before we write this to Kinesis, I have another processor here. Just to make sure that I don't have to shuffle between the screens. I have a list S3. The list, this list S3 will use the same credentials and he will track this particular bucket, the bucket that we've created, remember? So every single file that's gonna be added there is gonna be listed here. And after it's listed, we have a fetch S3 object. This fetch S3 object will receive the incoming key that was listed and he will fetch the data. Let's start both. We can see that it is flowing. Let's start the list S3. Let's wait for all the files to arrive. So basically, he wrote all the 40,000 messages to our Kinesis Firehose. If we look into our S3 bucket, let's do a refresh. And you see, he creates this uh, folder using the year of the transaction, the month and the day and the hour. You can see we have a total of about 2.33 megs. Let's go back to our flow. Now we can see all the data has been consumed. So this is just to demonstrate NiFi capability to actually integrate with Amazon services. So this is very powerful. You can actually write to stream and read from a particular stream, write to Firehose and then read from its destination target. So if we're going to look at the particular files, let's take this one, for example, we can see this is the data that we received. And all the resources flow through. Let's empty all the queues. Uh, let's stop our flow. You want to go back to your command line. And let's clean up the resources. Do not forget uh, that uh, all those resources cost money. So you don't want to be in a pickle. For this one, you can use the clean uh, resources tab here that I have created for you guys. Copy and paste. This will delete the stream. Uh, we're going to, again, export the account ID and we're going to delete the delivery stream this time. Let's detach the policy. Now let's delete the policy, delete the role, delete the delivery stream. Oh, we already deleted here. Sorry about it. So this is a duplicate. Empty the bucket and delete. And there you go, guys. This is a wrap for this tutorial. You will find all the information here. I also put the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I see you in the next NiFi tutorial.